<laughs> oh, hello, Earthlings. Welcome to another episode of Mission 360. Today, we're going to talk about the animals that inhabit the Portuguese forest. With cork oak forests, chestnut forests, pine forests, eucalyptus forests, oak woodlands, among many others, we're one of the European countries with the most variety of ecosystems, which are the natural habitat of a large number of wild animal species. But because of Dr. Silly Waste's actions, they're in danger of disappearing. That's why we call them protected species. Let's look at them more closely, but without disturbing them. Oh, wow, we're in luck. Despite being very large, it is very rare to see a Bonelli's eagle. You can find it all over Portugal, all year round. And it nests in places that are hard to reach, such as large trees, or cliffs. It has better eyesight than I do, even with these binoculars. From up there, it can identify its prey, such as rabbits, partridges, and some reptiles. It's okay, little one. The gold-striped salamander is exclusive to the Iberian Peninsula. It lives in the wettest parts of the region preferring areas with running water and a wide variety of vegetation. It is only the size of a pencil. And when it feels threatened, it leaves its tail behind so that it can run away. But don't worry, the tail will grow back. This is the Iberian lynx. In Portugal, it lives in mountainous areas, such as the mountains of Beira Baixa, Alentejo, and the Algarve where there are Mediterranean woods and bushes. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> rabbit hunter. Good thing, since it's their main source of food. It's very pretty, isn't it? These are some of the inhabitants of our forests. But beware, Earthlings. We must protect and conserve these rich habitats and their biodiversity. So, we must stand up to Dr. Silly Waste's plans and keep the wildlife safe. The conservation of forests and the protection of the species living there is part of our mission. Because protecting biodiversity is our role. <laughs>